and good morning everyone so today we will do some numerical problems on loss of free stress so the first question is a pre-tensioned concrete beam 100 mm wide and 300 mm deep is pre-stressed by straight wires carrying an initial force of 150 kN at an eccentricity of 50 mm the modulus of elasticity of steel and concrete are 210 kN per meter square and 35 kN per meter square respectively Estimate the percentage loss of stress in steel due to elastic deformation of concrete if the area of steel wires is 188 mm square. So in this question we are given that the concrete is a pre-tensioned concrete beam and we have to find the percentage loss in steel due to the elastic deformation. So first of all we will see what are the things that are given in the numerical problem. So the width is given as 100 mm, the depth is given as 300 mm. The pre-stressing force, that is the value of capital P, is given as 150 kN. Centri uh, eccentricity is given as 50 mm. And ES is 210 and EC is 35 kN per meter square. So now we have to find out the percentage loss of stress in steel due to the elastic deformation. See, we must first know the formula of the percentage loss, of the loss due to the elastic deformation. And the loss due to the elastic deformation is M into Fc, where M is your modular ratio and Fc is the stress in concrete at the level of steel. So we need to find these two things in order to find the loss of stress in the steel due to the elastic deformation. So the modular ratio, we know that small m is equal to the modulus of elasticity of steel divided by modulus of elasticity of concrete, that is Es upon Ec. So ju just put the values, we will get the value of the modular ratio as 6. So, uh, so this will be the value of the modular ratio. So now we will find out the value of Fc, that is the stress in concrete at the level of steel. See, what does this mean? See, this is your pre-stressed beam. Now in this question, we are given that the tendon is provided at an eccentricity of 50 mm. See, suppose this is the neutral axis of the beam. So we know that for a rectangular cross section, the neutral axis passes at the mid depth of the beam. So the total depth of the beam was given as 300 mm. Therefore, the neutral axis will pass through the, uh, the, the middle depth of the beam that is 150 mm. Now from this middle depth, that is from this neutral axis, the tendon is at a distance of 50 mm below the neutral axis. So now we have to find out the value of stress at this level. See, now we know that whenever a pre-stress is applied on a member, two types of stresses are produced due to the pre-stress. So one is your direct pre-stress and the other is your bending stress. And see, we know that the direct bending, uh, the direct stress is P upon A and its variation is uniform throughout the section. That is whatever is the value of the direct stress at the topmost fiber, the same value will be throughout the depth of the section. So the direct stress is P upon A and the bending stress we know that whenever a tendon is provided below the neutral axis, there is hogging at the top. Therefore, the, be uh, the bending stress will be, uh, which will be produced due to the eccentric tendon will be negative at the top. Uh, above the neutral axis and positive below the neutral axis. So now, see, now we have to find out the value of the bending stress at the level of steel. See, if you can see this diagram, this is the level of steel. So at this level, we have to find out the value of the stresses. So see, if you see the direct stress in diagram, the value of the direct stress at this level is same, that is P upon A. So direct stress need not to be found out because its variation is uniform throughout the section. But if we see this diagram, bending stress, now we have to find out the value of this stress. That is the value of stress at the level of steel. Uh, this is the level of steel. So now we have to find out the bending stress at this level. See, if you can see the diagram, uh, this value we know that this value of the bending stress is PE y bottom that is the depth of the bottommost fiber upon the moment of inertia that is i so now we will calculate the value of pe y upon i and after finding out the value we can find out the value of this value and suppose its value is x 
by using similar triangles. So first of all, let's find out the value of this term P E Y bottom into uh, divided by I. So the see P upon A. We are given in the question that the pre-stressing force is 150 kilonewton. So multiplied by 1000, we can convert it into newtons. And the area of the cross section is 100 into 300 because it is a rectangular cross section. Therefore, the cross sectional area will be 100 into 300. Therefore, this term will give you 5 newton per mm square. Therefore, the value of the direct stress at the level of the tendon will be 5 newton per mm square. Now let's find out the value of this term PEY bottom upon I. So just put the values of P. See the value of P is 150 into 10 to the power of 3. The value of eccentricity is 50 mm. Y bottom means the, the distance of the bottom most fiber from the neutral axis. And it is 150 mm. So this will be 150. The value of I is BD cubed by 12 for a rectangular section. So B is 100, B is 300 whole cube this divided by 12 so this will give you 5 newton per mm square so this value has come out to be 5 newton per mm square now we can use a similar triangle see if you see this diagram there are two triangles one is this large triangle and another is this smaller one triangle so we can use similar triangle properties in these two, in these two triangles so the perpendicular of the larger triangle divided by the base of the larger triangle so the perpendicular is 50 and the base is 150 of the larger triangle and this equal to perpendicular of the smaller triangle which is x which whose value we have to find out and this divided by the base of the smaller triangle which is 50 mm so from here we can find out the value of x which will come out to be 1.67 newton per mm square so therefore total stress in the concrete at the at the level of steel will be p by a plus x so which will give you 6.67 newton per mm square so therefore loss of stress in steel due to elastic deformation will be m into xc so we can calculate the value from this so this will come out to be 40 newton per mm square now we have to calculate the percentage loss so the loss divided by the initial pre-stress into 100 will give you the percentage loss so this will be percentage loss okay so see the loss is 40 okay now we have to find out the initial pre-stress so we know the force which is acting on the tendons so it is 150 kilonewton so multiplied by 1000 it will be converted to newtons this divided by the area of the pre-stressing wires will give you the stress initial pre-stress so loss divided by the initial pre-stress into 100 this will come out to be 5.01 percent so therefore the total percentage loss due to the elastic deformation in the in the pre-stressing in the pre-stress will be 5.01 percent